visiting one of the showrooms to buy some of my clothes, accessories, shoes or something that I wanted to buy in the town. And when I entered the showroom, what I saw was there were salespersons, there were the shop owners around and they were not bothered about their customers. Now, what happened was I approached one of the salesperson myself when it should be the other way around. So I approached the salesperson and I was asking him, telling him about what I want and how I would like to shop in their showroom. The demeanor of the salesperson was of negligence. He was not bothered. He didn't want to sell. So what happened next was, I, guess, I think you guessed, I walked out of the shop, of, out of the showroom. I did not buy from that showroom. And then I started thinking, when these people, the shop owners, opened this showroom, this specific showroom, and wanted to sell the products that they have in their shop, was the attitude same then when they opened the showroom? Did they open the showroom with the same attitude? And I don't think so. I don't think this was the same attitude that they had when they opened the showroom. They were ever welcoming. They wanted customers in their showroom. They wanted to sell. They wanted to talk to the customers. They wanted everything in their showroom to be customer centric and this is where they got success this is how customers were attracted to their showroom they sold more and they got success and this is where i feel success brings failures this is where they got negligent about their customers they thought the business is flowing they don't need to take care of their customers they don't need to do everything that they used to do when the business started and that's where failure starts it was just me who walked out of the showroom there might be hundred others looking at their demeanor towards their customers people might move out, walk out and not buy from them. And then the shop owners will start realizing why our sales have gone down and the blame is put on the demand. But the blame is not on the demand, but on the attitude that comes when there is success. So success brings failure. Success always should bring more success and that, how will that happen? It will only happen when you think to yourself that you are doing what you are doing even if for the last 10 years and you are expert in it and you have got success, even if that is so, you have to think that you are doing it for the first time today. You have to welcome your customers, be cooperative, sell and a seller's attitude is always required when you want to do any business or even if you want to work in an organization. Success, if not handled properly, brings failure and success is the only quickest way of bringing failure. Failure comes to not those people who try. They get failure, but eventually they will be successful. But people who are already successful are more prone to failures. So remember, if you are successful or going to be successful and you want to 
retain that success, then you have to retain the same attitude as when you had when you started your venture, your organization, your job. And then success will build on to more success. That's how we want to go ahead as leaders, as professionals, as business persons. Cheers.